Hi, Paul Gerard from Price Accounting Services. Back to talk about work-related travel expenses D2, but specifically we're going to talk this time about uh, reasonable allowances. Now, it's a very different issue compared to the general video, which you can also see on D2. Um, this applies only to taxpayers who receive an allowance from their employer. And let's talk a, bit, a little bit more about that. Okay. The Commissioner many years ago set forward a uh, alternate basis for taxpayers to claim uh, reasonable out-of-pocket costs in relation to travel. And the Commissioner's determination said if you stay in a hotel, motel uh, or similar and if your employer pays you an allowance, so they're the two key issues, okay, then provided, and remember I said provided, you do stay in one of those places and you incur a cost, it doesn't say how much, just you incur a cost for doing that, then the amount that you receive from your employer is assessable income. And it's not always shown on a PAYG summary, so you might need to go back to your employer and get it if in that situation. But here's the benefit. Each year the Commissioner publishes a table of um, acceptable limits that you can claim a deduction for the location, for each night you're in that location, based on your income. So if you're a moderate income earner, there's a table, for example, of regional and Australian domestic cities, and it sets out the amount for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and incidentals, and accommodation, etc. And you can use that table to determine how much you're going to claim. So let's, let's use an example. My employer pays me $65 a day, uh, per night that I'm away from home, and I'm away on a frequent basis, but let's say three nights in Bendigo. Now Bendigo, we can look that up on the table and we can look up our salaries and we can see that there's a specific deduction allowed for the, and let's say the employer's paid the accommodation, okay? So we're just talking about meals and incidentals. We can see how much we can claim. So we might be assessed on the 65 and then claim a deduction for, I was using an example, $102. And we don't need to provide receipts. That's the benefit of this system. So if you keep a record of where you spent each night, for example, nine nights in Bangkok, four nights in Kuala Lumpur, three nights in LA, and your employer pays an allowance of $65, we can reconstruct that deduction. You can reconstruct your deduction using this reasonable method. So, key factors, you must receive an allowance. You can't come back later and say, well, they sort of just included in my pay. Nope, must be an allowance. And uh, we need a record of how many nights and what the employer paid and what you paid, okay? So really straightforward deduction, and it can really pump up a deduction for some taxpayers who travel a fair bit. So tip is, if you're not able to get it now, go and have a chat with your employer and see what you can do to reconstruct things so that you can. Okay, happy to guide you on that one. Give us a call, give me an email, whatever it needs to be. Um, we're here to help. Okay, so that's it for now and we look forward to seeing another one of our videos. See you on the YouTube channel or on our website. Until then, bye.